I joined the, to the organizer and to the Parma City authorities in communicating our warm welcome to all the speakers and participants in this international conference. You start to represent a real epochal challenge, regeneration. I bring you the welcome by the president, the general manager, and all the council of the Fondazione Cariparma Banking Foundation, which is from many years engaged in this territory in helping to face up social and economic problems in favor of the community, in supporting proposal to find jointly with the local institutions valid answers in favor of educational and training needs in facilitating the growth of social health services, the culture and the scientific research as a vehicle for economic problems and social sharing. Even inside the Cari Parma Foundation, we are questioning ourselves with participation of all the councillors and the administrators of the different activities about the operative direction to assume in favour of our community. For the present, in which we perceive a series of new critical issues requiring courageous position and choices. For the very near future, in which we are grasping immense challenges requiring a firm and not deferable regeneration. A regeneration that must be regarded, above all, as moral regeneration through an economy aimed at the responsible search or rebalance between those who have and those who have too little or nothing. An economy supportive to those in the world who look at our society with, with a sense of injustice in face of our sometimes overabundant well-being, but also with the hope of an help for their progressive autonomous development. An economy based on social justice, on human fraternity and solidarity, on a renewed sense of human community, in care of men, for a man, for an happy development of every man, woman and child. Also knowing in this and with this, to survive the unstoppable technological revolution. Is this from this moral reinterpretation and regeneration of the economy that the respect for the environment originates as immediate consequence, as the rebalancing of the climate and the respect for other cultures, for the different human races, for the different animal species, for the every incomparable beauty of our fantastic common home. The organizer of this international event have had the great audacity, audacity to insert among the three goals that identify the regeneration, the goal of the happiness. I look you all in the eyes and I ask each of you and myself are we aware of the enormous challenge of having inserted the happiness between the goals of our generation? The great effort that each of us has to insert on himself, on the people with whom we live and collaborate, on the environment in which we work, in every action, day by day, without betraying this mandate, testifying to the younger generations that we really are able to regenerate us as builders of peace and happiness. Our responsibility is extraordinary. So, my best wishes to all of us, as well as to the active members in Cariparma Foundation, is to keep trust with this demanding promise, with belief, with courage, with consistency, with enthusiasm. 
the equal belief, courage, consistency, and enthusiasm that Pope Francesco has transmitted to us with his previous encyclical Laudato Si, and a few days ago with the extraordinary encyclical All Brothers. Mm -hmm.